Hello, hello. This is Pat with Petresca Papers. I am out in the Bluebird Bungalow today. I have been trying to film this all day. And just things are not great. So here we go. This time is the charm. Hope everybody's well. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I appreciate it when you subscribe, ring the bell to be reminded when I have a new video up. The And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I love comments. Please comment. I have a new digital kit that I will be releasing and it is for a travel journal and it is going to be called World Travelers Suitcase Journal, Junk Journal, okay? It's a mouthful. This is the prototype. This is what I've been working on all day today and I've had several things made clear to me as I was working on this and so this is take I don't know how many but I have only made one I did correct my errors and so now we're back you know you learn by practice that's what they say anyway all right so this opens up there are of course many ways you can make this but this one, I have reinforced the cover so that it's not just like a, a booklet. It is more like a, it has some cardboard or chipboard in it. And it has two signatures. And the reason it's a traveler's journal, besides being for travel, is it can be used many times and you put in your journal and I also have itinerary pages for you and this comes out also oop, oop, oop. okay there's pockets all kinds of fun things and we will get to it and make it all right all right, I'm going to walk you through what's in the kit so that you know. Okay, let's see, let's put that there. Here are the pages in the kit. I give you two very similar styles. One has like a leather edge. The other does not. And this one, I used this one, but I used some leather, faux leather, whatever you want to call them, straps for the leather accent. I have put all the areas that you do need to cut out. This one is an older version but you will have all the areas that you cut out to make your cover. I did this one double-sided. This one I did not. The one I did for this video is one-sided. We'll get to that. You will get, let's jump down into... There is a sheet that has straps. This is for the handle on the suitcase. It's almost more like a briefcase, isn't it? And an extra piece of paper that you can utilize to make pockets. Some labels, some fussy cut locks, and the closure. There is also a sheet with 
tags and travel posters and some stickers or labels for our suitcase. You also will get a lining, two linings, the ticking, the red ticking, and then this green with the little red rosettes in it. This can be for lining or it actually can be for, <clears throat> you can do it in your, within the booklets for signatures. Also, in for the signatures, you will get a green map and a tan map and a plain green and a plain tan. And you'll also get a lined journal page blank journal page. Now, what I'm also including in the kit are these overlays. This is an itinerary overlay and it's meant to be printed double-sided if you desire. This is a trip overview and a packing list and the offcut is for notes. These offcuts are for some, some pieces of journal paper that you can put in pockets or clip to your booklets. And the way these will be used, so for instance, this has my trip overview on it, and I probably will keep that without anything on the back but this one for the itinerary I printed this paper with the map on one side and plane on the other and then I ran it back through twice printing this itinerary on the front and on the back which will make the signature for the itinerary booklet. Okay? All right. I think that's everything. And if I counted right, oh, and I do have uh, a few various pages, papers, that have small swatches of various different contrasting or complementary papers that you can use four pockets. But all in all, there are 15 sheets with this kit. Let's get started. First of all, here is the cover and I've tried to do a lot of prep. There's no reason you need to watch me cut and distress and glue. So this is my cover without the cardboard. And you can see I did it one-sided. There's no reason this one needed to be two-sided. If you were going to just make it a booklet, you most likely would want to do a print inside there for the lining or put a piece of the lining across here and then redo your scores so it will fold. So, this morning, when I was doing my first version of this, I did not put the straps on first. And I'm going to do that now. Let me pull all of this right here. There's one and two. And what I figured out is that I am going to turn these under on each of these sides. Now, 
you have to kind of think about this. So let's open this up. Visuals are better. Okay, flip this over. This is where we want our buckle to be. This buckle is going to be a little bit higher than that one. And I don't think that's going to matter. Let's do this. And that, we won't turn it under. Because this particular one, the buckle's in a little different spot. All right, let's get going. I cut this out. And I have fussy cut around the buckle and I distressed it just to cover up the brown cover up the white edges so that they're brown okay so I'm going to start right here in fact I think I will try to Turn this over just a bit. It's going to come down here. Flip this over. And grab a clip just to hold that till the glue sets. Other one. I hope everyone's good. I had a very strange week last week. I was not motivated to do much. But this week I don't have many choices. I've got some things that have to be done. And this was one of them. Okay. Let's, it's really almost centered on there, isn't it? Pull that up that way just a bit. Don't have a lot of working time with my art glitter glue. And flip this over. And grab a clip. Hold it. Pull this one over. I did not give you much over on this one. Okay. Now we're going to do our handle. Let me just get those creases started. All right, this way, this way, this way. So our handle is this piece here. And I cut it out and I scored it along that dark brown edge on both sides. This time I did a piece of double-sided tape in there and then also some glue and I'm just kind of training it that, to know where I want it to curve. And I'm going to put it right there. Don't think I'm going to make it as long as this one. So I'm going to tone it tight. Cut it down just a bit. I'm going to round my corners. And then I'll distress a little on that. I need holes 
And I have this small hole punch there that I'll just reach in there and just get in the middle and punch. Punch. I've got some brads here. Get those out. And I need to put a hole there. And I need to put a hole there. And I'm going to use my awl because my little hole punch won't get into there. Just that and this. And wow, I didn't do very good on that, did I? That's still white. Get those edges. I actually think a little in there. Okay. I lay that down. Spread out those legs or wings. got a handle. All right. Now, let's start putting our inside in. And I think that we're going to start with our spines. So what I'm using is I'm repurposing some cardboard from a box in the house. And just so you know my sizes, because when you print, most likely you, you will most likely come up with some different sizes. But the book is, at least my inside is six and a half. The book is six and three quarters. Okay, and all these are six and a half. This back one is three and, I think it's three and five eighths. It might be cut down just a bit. This one is three and a quarter. And the spines are just smaller than a half inch so that they'll fit in and we can fold it, okay? This one, six inch, six and a half again, but I believe this is an inch and an eighth and an eighth. <laughs> inch and an eighth. Inch and an eighth. Okay. All right. So, also on this one, this is where the elastic will come through. So, I've got my holes. On both ends in enough so that the booklets which are six inches there's about six inches I don't know if you can see that from hole to hole maybe just a little less okay so I'm going to glue this down and I I'm going to use this Fabrifix Because it will give me a little bit of working time if I need it and then it holds really strong so between the work time and the hold time and I'm just gonna spread it a little bit 
Okay, so this one, just center it, giving it a little bit of space at the top, making sure that it will fold. And I did go before I, I started, I distressed my, my folds, my score lines, so I would know where my placement of my spines would be. Okay, that looks good, good. All right, this handle is making this a little bit difficult, but not as difficult as when I didn't do it before, when I, when I did it the other way. Let's see if we can spread you out a little bit. So you're not quite so, there we go. All right, and this one, there's no holes. So we're just going to make sure we get this placed right on that, between those, those distressed folds. can't push flat on it so I'm going to have to work with it make sure we can fold Get in there it's kind of a challenge now I'm going to put on a clip on each side here same with you here. Oh, they dry. Okay. Let's see if I can work that in from this side. And any distressing just makes it look more vintage, right? Keep it there. It's good. I'm going to keep this in here just a few more minutes. All right. Now, let's do this one over here. That's going to go there. I can't do that with you on there. So, off the clips go. So this will go right there and we need to leave a space here so that it can fold. All right. Let's get the corners and the edges really well. Center is important but not like getting that Getting the edges done, done right. Let's see, let, let me turn this around here. Come on. Get down in there. Okay, here we go. moved out just a bit. Let's see if we can move it with this. Let's go this way. Come out just a bit. Now are you folding? Maybe a little more. You can. Come on, Fabrifix. Move for me. I think I got you there. 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 And folds. Good. Takes it almost right to that edge. Okay, let's give it a good burnish. Okay, let's take 
these off. And this one. there. Okay. Now, I like to give ideas. I like to create things that have multiple ways that you can put this together what I like. I don't want you to have to follow a step by step. I know that sometimes that's the easiest, but I want you to think outside the box. I know, I just heard you. But Pat, we like the box. The box is comfortable. Well, I'm going to make you think outside the box just a bit. It's a good burnish. Yeah, that folds. That folds and that folds. Oh, nice. Okay. Do you know what we didn't do? No. Yes. We didn't. No, we didn't, Pat. This one is not on yet. So let's do, I don't think I can get this off. Nope. It's there. So I'm going to do a little bit of a different closure. All right, in here, this is one of the little pouches that I made from last week's video and in here are all of my little bits bits and things. I'm going to need this for the cover and I've got labels for the cover or stickers or labels. I've got some locks and we're just going to use one of these. So my thought is I'll put this there and run the elastic all the way around and then put that on there. This should have had two and it should be inside that cover but it's not. However, wait. I'm going to be putting a pocket. Yeah, you know what? I think we can do it. So let's get this ready. I've got a hole marked for you. So you punch your hole there. Let's get the other one. Punch the hole there got some little brads. So this one will go right here in the middle and these stripes, that cream colored stripe is the middle. So I'm just going to mark it and then we look at this. We want this one down about there. Okay. Now this one I can use my little hole punch. This one is too far. So I'm going to use my little piece of styrofoam and my awl again. The punch. And so that these don't get too tight, I have a little tool that I made, uh, Victoria Designs, did this where you put this, 
on here and then your brad when you push it down won't squish too hard so I'm going to turn this over I've still got that cardboard in there and that handle is making it hard I think that this spine could have been added last and it would give it would have given you a lot more playroom okay my closures are on here it's an inch punch and I punched out got some heavy craft cardstock I did two more and then glued them together and then in goes the brad and in let's see put it in there and this makes a very nice space for your twine or your elastic to work through all right there they are push that down nice so that it won't bother anything going in and out of that pocket. I think that I may just for kicks put a piece of washi over that. It's not going to show. Put our pocket on there. It just will keep it from bothering anything. Okay, all right, now it's time to put this one on. Let's get the glue again. At least I hope it's time. <laughs> oh my goodness. One of the subscribers said it's so refreshing to see you not be perfect and how you resolve your issues. Yeah, it can be refreshing. All right, let's put this on. And this time, I am putting a bunch of clamps on it since I can. All right, now, we're going to work on the elastic. Okay? So that's our book so far. Now, because I punched these before, I can reach in here, fit the little punching mechanism into that, make sure it's in it, and punch it again on both sides. in there yep so now my holes are on the outside but I did find with my elastic it's a little tight so I'm gonna go in gently with my awl and increase the size of these holes all right I think I'll go from this side too. Get down in there. All right. And this is the part that makes it the traveler's notebook. Now I do have some elastic here. I believe it's one and a half millimeters. Now I want it to go twice and have space for tying. And with 
that. Okay. So I'm going to come from the inside to the outside and then come across and up in there. I'm going to have to just keep nibbling away. That's another good reason to have a little bit extra. Come on. There we go. It's almost there. Okay, it's enough to tie. This one come up and out and around. I need to give it a fresh little cut. I used to go to all the trouble of burning the ends. I probably could still. I need to cut it with a little bit of a slant. Come on. There we go. And that's. this to be a bit tighter than it is. Okay, and now tie the square knot. Come on. Now I lost it. I lost it. Just need another hand. I'd look rather funny though. Okay. Trim that extra off. All ready for our booklets. All right. Now, on this back side, I have a pocket that I made. There is a piece in the kit that is the exact same size as, or printed the same as this, as our cover. So it will be exactly matched. I'm going to put my glue on the two sides and on the bottom. And an important thing is when you're gluing this down, let your sides be the first thing that touches your journal. So I'm centering it in there. Okay. And the fun these on while it's flat. Let's do that one there. The lawn. Let's come over here with London. Let's put that like that. I'm going to put Tokyo, let's see, this goes like that. I did not trim those and ink them so you can see it. Oh well. <laughs> and this, I'll put New York. I don't like that round with those round, so I'm going to put that right there in the pocket. I just may not use all of them this time. 
let's do Tokyo right there. I think Tokyo will come in right there. And here's Paris. Let's do Paris right there. Okay. All right. These can come off. And then the elastic closure probably don't have enough of that will come around here like that be long enough and then we'll tie an overhand knot oh sure we will work. So this will slide into that nice space that we have. And then this will come down. Is that too big? It may be. But once it gets into there, it's okay if it hangs a little lower. We may tighten that up. Okay, let's get our journals in. And I am cheating. Well, wait, there's one more thing. Do I want this on there? Yeah. We'll do that last. Do that last. Alright, so in here I have we don't need to do those yet. Let's do that inside pocket and then we'll start putting all of our fun things in. This inside pocket is, is meant to be a little bit down further, but we're going to put it there to cover up my mistake. Now I almost forgot. Okay, this needs a little slice so that when it's folded in it doesn't show. Okay. Now, this, this kind of a pocket does give a bit more space to put things in rather than a flat pocket, but we are going to put some flat pockets right in here. And I probably would have used these, but then they were too big and I would have to cut them down. This is, these are going to be a stacked pocket, which means this one, I'm only going to glue down the sides, this one, glue down the sides, and then this one, I'll glue all the way around. And then tall things can go in to that top one and go all the way down. Okay? So I've got these all distressed. And you want this one about right there. You want some headspace for your tag to stick out. Next one, same thing. And the right place is so that the 
divot does not show behind. And this line paper is really nice because I can see I've got it lined right up. And this last one, this is down the side and along the bottom, sealing that bottom. Okay, reaching up my lines, making sure that we're not sticking out. Okay, and I've got those tags that are the same. Let's do this one. This one could be the long one that goes down in there. And then we've got, what else have I got? I've got this smaller one here that can go in. And I have printed out the trip overview. And it's folded up and it can slide in that pocket. And then here's my packing list. And that's folded up and that can slide in this pocket. And I don't mind if it pokes its head out. It's kind of fun to see that. All right, and let's see, what else have I got? All right, and then here, I've given you labels and you can add whatever you want. This one it, for me is just going to be itinerary. It will slide right in there. Now my booklets, I sized them six inches by, I think it's seven seven and three eighths and then folded them and then this one has all the blank in it we'll slide right in there and this cover because you can change it out is good for many trips wanted to show you I, with my booklets I was I cheated I went quick when I folded it I, I have a, a stapler that I can staple in the middle for a booklet but if I didn't do that I would do the two pamphlet stitch and stitch them together which will be nice because then for other trips I'll just make more booklets here like that okay and this down there and there are many ways that we can close this um, I was thinking ribbon instead of these you could tie two ties uh, it would lend itself really well to magnets some really nice strong magnets in the back, let's see, where's my little, I've got some ink fit, some of the travel posters can go back in here, and in the inside also. Now, the last thing, oh, 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 oh. I cut up, it's not the last thing. Don't get too excited. I do. Okay. These are the off cuts from let's see. Well, I'll just show you with the templates. The off cuts on the bottom. And I plan to just, here we go. I love opening this evidently. I'm just going to clip these right back here. And I think, slide one of those in there. 
because I can journal a little bit on the back of those. Okay. And is there something else? All right. Now. I'm going to put the locks on and the way I'm going to do that no I'm not because I put that right where the lock would go so my thought was to cut the lock part off I'd have the top up there and the block at the bottom but that's right in the way now I could, well, why not? I mean, it's just for fun anyway. So, since I spent all that time fussy cutting them, okay, let's put this on here. Wow, a lot of glue, let's share. Let's share the love here. So you're going to go right, nope, not that way, this way. Right like that. In the middle of that section. We'll go right there. Get it straight on that. Okay. distressing on there and then this is going to be put on the main part just underneath where that is just like that wow I've got dirty hands distressed hands you're going to go right there, like that. All right. We are, oh, no, 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 no. We've got one more, one more thing, Pat. Let me get a little bit of this twine. So. We need our travel tag and this has journey where you're the date from and to the destination and how you're traveling are you going by car or train or bus <laughs> bus oh please no no bus or plane or cruise ship this just flip through there and we're hanging the knot again. Okay, now, now I think, I'm looking around, do I have any empty pieces? There it is. Okay, well, I will have this in my Etsy shop. It's a digital kit, and you'll have many options. And I will most likely be doing a follow-up. As I think more about this, I come up with other ideas, and uh, I'll be back. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to hear if you're going to be traveling this summer. All right. Hey, thank you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.